Hey y'all, it's Hunter. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the new code blocks and inline code features in Framer. You can use this to make API documentation alongside your current Framer site, maybe a password protected docs for your team, or just some cool blog posts about code. Let's start by taking a look at the example site we have here. This site is filled with example content to show different options for how you could build your documentation site. If you wanna follow along in Framer, or you just wanna start playing around for yourself, you can find the link to this template in the description. Now, what are these features? You've probably seen these around the web before, but inline code is used for calling out a piece of code within a block of text, and a code block looks more like what you'd expect in a text editor for coding, with syntax highlighting and multi-line support. Let's open the CMS and I'll show you how you can add code to your CMS content. If we open up one of our CMS items, we'll see there's two new buttons in the rich text toolbar. One for inline code and one for code blocks. Let's start using inline code by calling out the framer library here, which is actually a name that we would use in code. So if we select it and click the inline code button, we can also use the shortcut command shift C on macOS or control shift C on Windows. It now becomes inline code. This will make it monospace in the editor and add a slight background so you know you formatted this text. In this example content, we also want to show what an example component looks like. So we'll use a code block for this. To do that, let's create a new line and we'll click the code block button in the toolbar. This instantly inserts a code block. We can go ahead and just type whatever code we want right in here. And it looks exactly how we'd expect the code to look. We can change the language if we need, but in this case, we'll stick to JSX. Our code blocks have great inline editing with auto bracket completion and auto indentation. But if you have your code on hand already, you can just paste it right in and everything will look how you expect with syntax highlighting. I'll paste in some code that I have ready. All right, that's looking good. Now that we've seen the editing experience, let's see what it looks like on our page design. If we go to our docs pages, there we go. You can see that our inline code and our code blocks are showing up on our page. Now that we've added our formatted code in our content, let's take a look at how to style this. We can find everything we need in the assets panel under the styles section. Both inline code and code blocks are fully customizable to fit whatever your site looks like. With inline code, we're able to change many different options like font, border radius, or border. All these controls are designed to be relative to the font size of the surrounding text. This allows you to use the size control, for instance, to set the exact percentage that will make your letter height align with the surrounding text. The padding values for the background sizing are also relative to allow you to use the same inline code style for your headings and your body copy to keep things consistent. In the styles section under the CMS category, we'll also find the code block styles. In here, we can customize everything from the font to the theme, to even overriding the background color and setting the radius and the padding. And for maximum polish, theming is built right in. You can select which syntax theme you'd like to use on light mode and which theme you'd like to use on dark mode. In this case, I'll use the framer light theme and the framer dark theme, but I'll override the background color to fit my design a bit better. Nice, that's looking much better. The benefit of having the styling for these in the styles panel is that I only have to set them up once. If I'm writing more content or a developer on my team wants to come write some content, all they have to worry about is the content and everything will use the styles that are already set on the rich text layer. I'll add some more example content to our page using the CMS overlay. And you can see that all our content keeps the same style. And as a quick tip while I'm doing this, any code block content that you copy and paste within the rich text area will retain the language that you copied it from. So this pasted block also stays as JSX. The styles for code blocks and inline code work just like text styles, so you can find them assigned on your rich text content in the layers panel. You can also create multiple of each of these styles if you have a bigger site that needs different styles for different text layers. In this case, let's say we want to make some changes to our styles, so let's hop back into the assets panel. And these styles will apply to each instance of inline code or every code block within this text layer content, whether there's three code blocks or 300, allowing you to scale with your content. 
And because Framer is a freeform tool, we've also added code blocks to the insert menu, allowing you to insert them on any page, regardless if you're using the CMS or not. This is great for creating fully custom landing pages or home pages for your documentation that need to call out pieces of code. If we drop it in here, we can see we have some example code built in and all the exact same themes that we can use in the CMS, allowing us to sync the styling across our entire website and keep things super consistent. It even supports fixed and auto sizing, just like any other layer, to make it fit to whatever design you may have in mind. And that's it for code blocks and inline code. And we can't wait to see what you build with this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.